Hey everybody out there in YouTube land. Mike Philip Hall here, live in my living room. How's everybody out there doing today? I'm trying to adjust my camera, my webcam. Can you see me now? Huh? Can you see me? Can you see me now? <laughs> Gorgeous smile. Oh. Anyways, uh, let's see. Just wanted to uh, talk about a few things. Uh, what's on your mind today? I can tell you what's on my mind today. Well, Monday here, it was beautiful. It was like 80 degrees. It was really warm. It was beautiful. I mean, it was so nice. You know, I actually wore shorts and flip-flops on Monday. But today, Wednesday, yesterday was a little bit cooler, but it was still a nice day, and today it's raining. Well, it's not raining right now, but it was raining earlier. So, now it's like, eh, it's spring weather. But, the thing with uh, the weather in New York State, my timing is off, I'm lucky. The thing with the weather here in New York State, especially where we live, here's the thing. You don't like the weather, wait five minutes because it'll change. It's always been the premise around here. If you don't like the weather, wait five minutes because it will change. And it does. Changes out of dime around here. It really does. So, anyways, let's see. All right. Being that it's now April and the weather is getting better, I want to get in shape. You know why? Because I'm 45. And in one week, one week, April 20th, 2011, 2011, me, 46 years old, April 20th. Mm -hmm. I have the same birthday as my father-in-law. Mm -hmm. April 20th, I will be 46 years old. No, I'm getting old. <laughs> Closer to 50. Anyways, so let me show you what I'm going to do to try to get back in shape a little bit. Okay? Let me show you. Now, I went upstairs in my um, my uh, nightstand, and I found this little thing. I've had this thing for years, and I, I just started. So I'm going to start using it again because I want to build up the guns. Can you see that, man? Look at, look at that. Look at, look at, watch, look at, look at, come on, look at that, come on, that's not too bad, let me show you what I got, ta-da, you know what this is, it's one of those hand grippy things, most people can't do this, watch, Twenty times. That's just my right hand. Watch this. Twenty times the, the left hand. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty times with my right hand or with my left hand. Guess what else I found? You ready for this? This is a big one. Watch this. Watch. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> now, one of the things that, you know, when you want to build yourself back up, especially after a long winter like we've had here in western New York, one of the things that you really want to do is lift weights. Because this summer at the beach when you got your shirt off, you know, you want to, you want to show the world your guns, right? Now, my guns are a little saggy i'm not gonna lie to you but i have a solution to that i have a dumbbell no not my head <laughs> but it's true i have a dumbbell this i think this weighs like 20 pounds it's pretty heavy so you just sit here and crank it and you do it like you know 25 or 30,000 times and then you build up your muscles again and I want to show the world something really special now let me just tell you something 
When I was in high school, junior high, high school, school period, I was not athletic at all. I was not a jock. My older sister ran ran track, played sports. My younger brother played football, and you know he was into sports. And pretty much everybody else was too. But now that I'm older, I kind of like sports. I mean, I don't watch sports on TV. I certainly don't watch football or baseball or basketball or any of those things because, well, to be honest with you, I really don't have, you know, I mean, I know that they're great sports and I know there's a lot of people out there that really love them. And it's all fine and good. But for me, I just don't, I just don't watch sports on TV. I, I do, I have watched um, motocross before on TV. And I do like to watch um, when they rollerblade, the rollerblading and the skateboarding, because I think that's kind of cool. I mean, that's, you know, I mean, every sport needs talent. Let's not lie to our, you know, let's not, you know, debate that, because I think there's a lot of talented people that play sports. Um, when you play a sport, you have to have a passion for it, and that's all fine and good. But to me, I, I like I say, I don't watch sports on TV, but I do like to participate once in a while in a little bit of athletic fun. So, my athletic fun, if you want to call it athletic fun, watch this. I can spin a basketball on my finger. I've never been able to do this. Well, I started practicing it a few years ago, so I'll show you. I'll, I'm going to have to put the mic, the mic down, okay? Hold on. Just watch. I haven't done it in a while. Oops. There's a trick to holding it up. Try it one more time. One more, one more time. Okay. It's like 11 more times, but. And I'm, I'm actually, all right. <laughs> I'm actually left-handed, so I was doing it on my right hand, but I, I've, I used to be able to do it for a lot longer, and I can if I practice for a little while. I, I just haven't done it for a long time. So, I just wanted to show you that, because, um, you know, with this, with the nice weather coming and um, you know things like that, you know, you hope that, that you can, uh, you know, get out there and enjoy yourself a little bit and enjoy the weather and you know do some active things. I also like to ride my bicycle. I have a bicycle and um, I got my rollerblades out a couple of days ago. Oh my God, what a disaster that was! <laughs> I already talked about that in another video, so I have to watch that video to see what I was doing or to hear what I was doing. Uh, so that's it. Anyways, uh, so um, I, I thought this was interesting. I, I found a couple headlines in the news that I thought were interesting. Um, Oprah Winfrey's last show, she's getting like a million dollars for the advertising on her show. And Charlie Sheen is in talks to, um, I don't know, fix his relationship with CBS and, and go back out there and do uh, Two and a Half Men. So... Only time will tell, right? <laughs> oh, hey. Let me show you my other thing I got. I, I don't know if I've ever shown these before. This this is something that I in, I didn't invent it because I wish I could. But but I don't think anybody else has ever done it. You know what this is? Ah! What is it? Huh? What is it? It's a bumper car. Mm-hmm. You know bumper car when you go to the amusement park? Bumper car. This one's done. Painted. It says MLT. See the MLT? You know what MLT means? Mike loves Trisha. Me. Love the wife Trisha. 16 years. April 29th, 1995. 2011. 16 years. Oh. Here's one. I started. This is not complete yet. 
See the cool design? You know how I make these? Two blocks of wood glued together. Two of them. And then I carve it out with a Dremel. Pretty cool, huh? I like them. Got some ideas. Got the old noggin going. Okay. So I'm over 10 minutes. Used up enough of your time for the day. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hope you watch. Hope you subscribe. Please subscribe. I'm here. I want to be seen. I want to be heard. Hey, if somebody out there is in reality TV and you're looking for your next star, I'm right here. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> Google Mike Filippello. Google. Google.com. Mike Filippello. M-I-K-E-F-I-L-I-P-P-E-L-L-O. Mike Filippello. Me. You want me. Yo. Oh, I shouldn't rap. It's not good. Anyways, got to go. Talk to you later. Pasta Vazoo. Have a good day. And we'll talk to you really soon. Toodaloo. Bye-bye.